today I'm going to review Chereti or Chereti or whatever T S R E T E is pronounced. I have used it a couple of times now, and so far it hasn't failed me. If you like baby sounds in the background, consider subscribing. <laughs> you may hear every now and then a uh, laughing or irritated, fuzzy, talkative baby in the background. <laughs> okay. Anyway, just a side note, since all of these items except the pump motor will come into contact with the breast milk, I went ahead and washed everything with warm water and the dish soap and of course dried them with a paper towel. Let's now assemble the breast pump. In the instructions, the silicone diaphragm is the first one to be assembled, but here I am first installing the valve into the bottom of the linker, making sure it's installed in the correct direction, as such. And I'll do the same onto the other breast pump. By the way, I have fully charged both breast pump motors using a Type-C charger. And just a side note, um, the power adapter is not provided, just the cables. Now I'm putting the silicone diaphragm into the linker and pressing the edges to fasten tightly. And I am now assembling the linker into the milk collector with the ear part of the linker aligned with the internal slot of the milk collector. And pressing the linker disc part with both hands to fasten the edges firmly to ensure complete sealing. This is the ear I was talking about earlier. So let's repeat the process for the other breast pump. Put the silicone diaphragm. And place the linker into the milk collector. This is the silicone shield and I'm installing it in it on the milk collector, making sure I've aligned the deflector on the horn with the deflector on the milk collector. Align the groove on the silicone shield in the milk collector groove. I am pressing the pump motor onto the milk collector to make sure that it fits perfectly and do the same process with the other uh, with other breast pump. I just press the power button. This is the mode selection. The heart icon lets you know the mode is on massage mode. The plus and minus buttons are options if you want a level up or a level down. The other mode with the tear icon is of course the milk expression mode. It is also not the quietest breast pump. Funnily enough, I feel like it sounds like you're milking a cow. <laughs> Make sure to follow the directions and place the breast pump in your bra correctly because it can backflow and milk can spread on your boobs which can be messy and sticky. 
it has been doing this for a while now for me <laughs> and it might have been the way I place it or because I have a flimsy maternity bra which I bought from Shein Shein or Shein or whatever uh, not the best maternity bra out there After I finish, I have to make sure that I remove the breast bump close to my boob, not away. And I tilt it upwards to save every drop of milk. Because we don't want to cry over spilled milk. <laughs> also, I would recommend pausing and wiping excess milk on the boobs if you plan to pump longer. Because the silicone has a tendency to stick to your, to your skin and that can be somewhat painful. So far, I've been able to express, I think this is three ounces of milk, which is uh, enough for my feeding. And I can always add to this milk um, later on. Overall, this is a budget-friendly breast pump compared to high-end breast pumps like LV and Willow. And I think it's more convenient to use than the Motif Duo with the um, long attachments. Hit subscribe if this review helped you and if you like baby voices on the background. <laughs> Alright, see you again next time.